3-3 draw against uh, Eastleigh, who were Conference South champions last season. We're talking to assistant manager Neil Tolson. Neil, uh, the crowd certainly got their money's worth this afternoon. It was a, a superb game of football. It was uh, for the neutrals. It's uh, it's one that, you you know, me personally, I'd gladly have uh, paid money to go and see that today. Um, I thought we were uh, excellent passing the ball around, you know, and for... For the people of Altrincham, I would say, if you want to come and watch some football, you know those that those that, those that don't come to the game, we we always do try and entertain teams, and we do try and play football. And uh, against the favourites for the league today, you know, there's times where we made them look. I don't like using the word ordinary, but we we comfortably got into good areas and you know created chances uh, against a very very good Easty side. So you know, credit to the boys, and uh, I think you're spot on. It was uh, great for the neutral. We've scored uh, three fantastic goals. The first goal, very good goal. Simon Richmond, Carl Perry and Sean Williams threaded the ball through beautifully. But there has to be somebody who finishes it off and Damien Reeves did a great job. Yeah, great. Uh, again, you've mentioned the three goals. I would challenge anyone to, to find me three goals in a game that were better than the three goals that we've scored today, all of them. Um, yeah, I, I thought I thought uh, Willow did unbelievable for the goal. He, he broke the lines well. Great movement from the three boys. Um Kyle took the, from what I can remember, Kyle took the guy uh, to the left. Jimmy went the opposite way, which uh, opened it up nicely for, for Reevesy. And it wasn't an easy chance. Um, the keeper came out quite quickly and great little finish from him. And then we've conceded. They've uh, equalised and we talk about the second ball, but unfortunately we lost the first ball as well from the free kick. Yeah, that's right. We've th That's one thing that we disappointed with today. We do feel as though... We have to work really hard to get our chances and really hard to to score goals. And probably at times we're we're gifting the opposition, um, you know, opportunities. It was we should have done better. It was uh, from where again we'll look back on Ultra TV when we get the chance, and it looks like three of us have gone up for for the same ball and left the left the lad six yard box with only Dave to beat and. You know, from that close range, if you hit the target, you're, you're scoring a goal. So, yeah, we can definitely improve on, on that side of it. But we didn't let our heads drop and carried on playing some very good football, generally in the ascendancy. And then there was just a wonderful, wonderful moment. Uh, the ball's been pinged in uh, di on the diagonal by uh, Pete Cavanna. And what a fantastic finish. It was. It was, a, it, was uh, it was worth the entrance fee alone, wasn't it, that goal? Um Again, it was good play. It was good play to get the ball to Cav in the first place, from from what we you know what we can remember, uh, and uh, it must have been what a 45, 50 yard diagonal pass, and he's uh, <laughs> Griff City on on the volley. And I got asked this earlier actually, and he does it regular in training. I'm not saying finishes like that, but his finishing in training is unbelievable. So um, when he was in that area. If he, you know, kept himself calm, well, I was quietly confident that he was going to do what he did because he's such a good finisher. So, um, great goal, great goal. That will do his confidence a phenomenal amount of good. And he's had a pretty good start to the season. I made him just about man of the match last week against uh, Dartford. Had another very good game today, of course, topped the uh, the cherry on the cake with that goal. Oh, yeah, he's, he's I think every every club that you, that, you know, that you play at and work at and, coach manage there's always players that are, that are unsung heroes and go under under the radar and you know um, they don't people don't always see what they do and, and Adam Griffin is one of those players never never gives you a minute minute bother uh, he's a great lad and he's a very very good footballer and uh, I'm glad that he's doing what he's doing and, and people are recognizing it we didn't quite make it to the break with the lead and again the the <laughs> It's a bit of a routine goal. It wasn't a great goal from our point of view, the equaliser. No, no, it wasn't. We got uh, we got robbed with the ball in the middle of the park and we were out of position. To be fair to the lad, he's whipped in a, he's whipped in a great ball, but we have to defend those better. Um, yeah, it was it was a bad time. I think that I think it was a timing of it as well, just before half-time. You know, you t your team talk at half-time slightly different. But again, you something that you just mentioned, the lads never gave in for us. You know, they kept going and uh, got ourselves back into the lead. Going back to the original question, we can't keep conceding silly goals, though. Yeah, the two goals in the second half, certainly both very good goals. I think uh, Scott Leather swept the ball out to Adam Griffin. Great delivery again and 
fantastic cushion header from from uh, Damien Reeves and Ross Gletney, who's a very good keeper, had no chance. Well, we we've, we've actually been working a lot on that last week. Um, balls out wide and pace on the deliveries. One of the things that we've noticed since we've been promoted is teams out wide, they do put um, pace on the ball. If you go in the dressing room, it's all over every sheet. Venom, pace, you know, be a bit angry with your deliveries. And, and to be fair, that's exactly what Griff's done. He's whipped in the ball, which the defender can't, you can't defend against those. And Reeves is in the right place and in the right time is where he always is. And uh, a great header. They're not, they're not that easy, actually, because it was like a glancing header. And a uh, great finish, but again, we mentioned in Adam Griffin, it's down to the delivery. It was a great, great delivery. And to be fair, from Scott Leather as well, who uh, switched the play. So, yeah, again, another excellent goal. And fair play, Joe J- Reason scored a really good goal as well. I don't think we were probably too happy with the way that the ball reached him. No, no, I think um, I think we're going to have to go and have a look at Ulti TV, aren't we? We're going to have to look back because uh, there was a little bit of a mix-up in the middle of the, of the field. We don't know whether... It was a free kick or the referee blew his whistle, but they seemed to come out of an area where there was a foul, but, you know, when they got the ball out wise and um, turned one of our lads on the edge of the box and great finish, uh, put in the far corner. You know, sometimes you have to hold your hands up when you concede a good goal. Um, not really a great deal we can do about that from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, the first two we can do better. And a couple of worrying moments towards the end. Dave Parton seemed to take a bit of a, a knock. And, of course, uh, Damien Reeves seems to have a back injury. Yeah, um, I think the, the both, fingers crossed, should be OK. Um, super, I was having a look at him and he'll, uh, he'll keep us posted. But I think the more, especially with Reeves, he, Reeves he was probably more of a knock than uh, than a pull, which is which is obviously good. Uh, and Dave, Dave's was similar, so we'll, we'll just... Uh, Play it, play it by ear and see see how they are next 24, 48 hours and getting ready to, for them boys to go again uh, kid him in on Tuesday. I think one of the great things about the game today was that uh, when we were in the conference last time, every game was a real struggle. We did play some good football at times, but it wasn't that expansive. But s- since we've come back, in, back into the league, got promoted, played some great football. It's not always been successful, but it's been a joy to watch. And when it's been good, it's been very good. I, I totally agree. And it's, you know, it's, it's fair play to the gaffer. You know, we could have sat down at the end of last season and said, you know what, let's get, us, get ourselves 14, 15, 6 foot 3 lads, smash it forward. But no, he's got uh, his principles are he wants to pass the ball around, he wants to develop younger players. And the only way you're, you're going to do that is by doing what we're doing. We work hard in training at passing the ball and we work hard on a Saturday passing the ball. That's the way football was meant to be for me. Uh, you know, as I say, I echo everything what the gaffer wants to bring to the football club and that's passing the ball around. He wants to be in, enjoy watching it himself. And like I said earlier, we I'd gladly have paid to watch that today. So we'll keep passing it. That's Neil Tolson there, uh, Altrincham assistant manager, delighted with the Altrincham performance and rightly so. Played some superb stuff today, 3-3 against Eastleigh. Our next uh, game is on Tuesday night when we travel to Agbara to take on Kidderminster Harriers uh, for a 7.45pm kickoff. And let's hope that Altrincham continue their excellent recent run of form.